Hello and welcome to Everyday Questions. How many times have you ordered for a Corona and got it served with her lime wedge? Ever wondered what could be the reason behind this? Is there some science or is it just a marketing gimmick? In this episode, we'll try and find answers to some of those questions. So, let's begin. Corona is the number one selling beer in Mexico, the number four selling beer in the world, and in fact, the world drank about 1.2 billion liters of Corona last year. But why is it always served with lime? There are multiple apocryphal theories around the same. Some say it's the result of a marketing gimmick. Some say it was started off as a pet. I'll pick out the one which seems the most logical out of these. So let's dig deeper. The answer could be easier to see than before. What's the difference between Corona and other beers? I'll give you the next few seconds to have a look at Corona and other beers. So, take a look. If you guessed it's the packaging, you are right. One of the distinguishing traits of Corona is its clear glass bottle. Now beer always comes in either brown, green or clear glass, majority of the times. Now beer that is served in glass bottles is susceptible to developing light struck flavors. What that means is different wavelengths of light are either absorbed or transmitted by the glass depending on the color of the glass bottle. The graph here shows how UV light emitted from the sun is absorbed by different colors of glass. Notice how brown glass absorbs the maximum amount of UV light as compared to blue, green and clear glass. Why are we talking about UV light in particular and what happens when this UV light hits a beer bottle? Beer is made from hops and in a pure state, hop acids are weak exhibit bad solubility in water and almost have no bitter taste. However, when light hits the beer bottle, it provides the energy required for it to undergo a chemical reaction. In this case, the hop acids convert into 3-methyl, 2-butyl and 1-thiol. The thiol part of the compound indicates that there is sulfur present, which gives it the sour taste. The photochemical reaction occurs very quickly and in fact, a well-hopped beer glass can quickly go bad because of exposure to sunshine. So if that's the case, why aren't all beer bottles brown? There's an interesting history behind this. Around World War II, most of the glass manufacturing companies had to forfeit their brown glass to help in the production of medicinal bottles. So what did they do? They began shipping clear glass to beer manufacturers. But there was a problem. Until that point of time, clear glass was used only for cheap beers. What did the alcohol companies do? They tinted the glass green to differentiate between premium and cheap beers. Coming back to Corona, the lime was added to mask the sour taste of the beer after its reaction with the UV light. So I hope that puts some sense around the lime and Corona question. In case you like the video, please subscribe by clicking the link here. I'll be uploading answers to questions like these every week. In fact, last week, I uploaded an answer to the question of airport codes. In the next week, I'll be uploading answers to questions around cricket and its bowlers. So until next time, thank you for watching.